What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP. I know I haven't uploaded a video in about two, three weeks. I'm sorry for that, I've been working a lot and my internet's just been like super shit. But anyway, I'm in the mystery machine today and I'm playing my super flamboyant homosexual character, let's not be controversial, in the mystery machine. It's not registered, I've got some guns. Oh, and a big ass baseball bat in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got pulled over. He reckons I ran a red light. I disagree with that one. It was orange. And we were speeding, which I totally did. So yeah, you join me here on a traffic stop. We're going to just go mess around today. I've brought back my classic character, who I know did commit suicide a very long time ago. But I felt like bringing him back. I love Fred Daphne. And that is who we're playing as today. A um, few things to show you. This is really awesome. We've got some new features. So first is the inventory, which is now... I mean, they definitely didn't steal this from PUBG. <laughs> got a bat, pistol, mountain rifle, and a shit ton of cash. And uh, secondly, we have, if I can remember the button for it... F1? Yeah, we got a phone! Guys, look at this. Like, seriously. We've got messages, contacts, we can actually ring people in game now, but I haven't got a number to show you that, unfortunately. Um, we've got settings, we can actually change stuff. Air unit. Let's have a look at that bad boy. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. And my favourite of all, we got 9 gag. Let's not try photos, I'll probably glitch out if I'm in a car. This is not... A joke, this is genuine nine gag, which is a social media site for memes. This dude's gonna create something awesome. Sanding some metal. Or is he buffing it? No, sanding it. Definitely sanding it. Steel polished into a mirror. <laughs> this is so cool. Got a robot. And a, just a shite ton of stuff. Ooh, that looked dangerous. I've seen this one. Kangaroo. <laughs> Yeah, I just I wanted to show you that. That is actually wicked. Photos, dark chat. Oh, there's a lot has changed in the few weeks that I've been off, I can tell you that much. By the way, sat here waiting for the cop to come back. This could be interesting. Oh, and I got a shit ton of speakers in this car. You can't see them because the window tint. They haven't actually picked up on that yet. This is the third time I've been pulled over. But yeah, we got a ton of speakers in the car. I can't actually move my mouse to show you, but it is pretty wicked. Um, Fred Daphne, clean record, clean license. Almost like I just created the character, kind of because I did. But yeah, either way. All right, and this could be fun. 1987. Hi, hey, Mr. Daphne. Is oh. it, um, you got your papers proving that you just bought this car, sir. Is he still in the car? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to give them to you. Hang on, they're in my purse. <laughs> it's all good. Take your time. Um, I can't see what I I'm didn't writing. Note, though that uh, your license doesn't seem to have a picture on it. Um, just to inform you, though, it, it is it is a misdemeanor of the second degree, and I am gonna have to charge you with that. What do you mean a misdemeanor? I didn't know that was a law. Yeah, you do. You are required um, by law because it is otherwise an incomplete uh, license. You are by law uh, required to have a valid picture or photo on the license. Um, like a the a DOB height, uh, um, sex, weight, and so on and so forth. You've got the rest. You've got the address with the postal. Um, you're just missing the the oh. photo or picture, but that is still a misdemeanor. Okay, that is still part of it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. Can I, like, go to the DMV tomorrow yeah. and try and fix it? Well, I mean, with the way you were driving, I don't know. I mean, are you, you going to slow it down for me? Of course I will. It's a new van. I was just testing it. Here, you can sit in the seat and have a okay. ride with me if you want. No, I'm good. But uh, here's your information back. Uh, looks like everything else checks out. Just try and get your vehicle registered as soon as you can. Um, try not to drive around like, an, like too crazy. Oh, yes. Um, and maybe we won't have to pull you over and arrest you for that misdemeanor of the second degree before you get that checked out, alright? Okay, no worries. I, I do really appreciate it. Alright. If there's any way I no can problem. repay you. you stay you. safe. You sure you don't want to ride? Uh, you can repay me by, by following the laws, sir. 
But yeah, uh, you have a great day, okay? It's a okay. lovely day out here, so you stay do. safe out here. Toodles! Yeah, you're free to go, sir. <laughs> That's definitely new. I did not know that. You need a picture on your license. I should probably fix that. How the hell am I going to fix that? Right, I'm going to create a license now. Give me a sec. Ooh, something's happened there. And there we go. <laughs> That's actually my license photo. That's amazing. Um, it's slightly warped, but amazing. <laughs> right, let's go cause some more shenanigans. Totally blew that red light. A lot of city cops on today. I just blew another red light. <laughs> um, I really shouldn't blow red lights like that. Okay, that was a sheriff behind there. Did he pull out? Nope. That was lucky. That car is smashing. What the fuck, dude? Oh, that cop's after him. If he pulls me over, I swear to God. That's better. I was gonna say, I swear to God. I got and ram that brick. Let's go make this guy feel awkward. Don't pull, don't pull. Oh, he caught me on back radar doing like a hundred then. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So... Um, what's the best way to do this without getting shot? I'm just gonna kind of menacingly stand here and hope he notices me. Uh, emote cop. I think that, yeah! <laughs> That's so menacing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry like a bitch to this cop. This dude was on my ass. I'm so gonna exaggerate. I'm gonna exaggerate and chat this cop up at the same time. This is gonna be great. So it's been a minute or two, and the first cop hasn't got out yet, but a secondary did just arrive on scene. I'm being respectful and keeping my distance. Standing here menacingly, arrgh, grabbing. Hopefully, a secondary comes to talk to me. I don't want to approach. That's <laughs> it's not right. It's like you wouldn't just get out on someone else's traffic stop and go have a chat to the cop, would you? Oh hey. Hi. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I just want to let that officer up there know the one with the nice abs. This that dude. He was like totally up my ass. He was like three feet behind me. He was being really menacing. And then when he overtook me, he almost oh, yeah. hit the side of my car. I was like scared for my uh, life. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, if you uh, saw me pull out from where I pulled out, uh, but I. Uh, the reason that I pulled out was uh, his speed and because he was following you uh, so close. So, uh, we are uh, aware of it. Oh, thank God! He was real, like really scaring me in that black car. I thought he was going to try and kill me. Might have had to shoot him or something. Yeah. That wouldn't have been good. And to to be uh, to be honest with you, I think uh, with the speed we got him on, he uh, isn't going to be driving anytime soon again. Oh, thank God! Men like that are just a danger to us, to us other guys. Like, what if he hurt me? What if he went into the back of me? I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, the uh, way he was driving was uh, was dangerous. Okay, if you need, I got some pink fluffy handcuffs in the truck, just in case, you know. Oh, and I a think, big uh, bat. <laughs> I think I've got some uh, in my truck also. Okay, I just thought I'd let you know. Am I am I good to go? Yeah, your your uh, your okay, your vehicle's okay. He didn't hit you, right? No, he got pretty close. But he didn't touch me. No, oh, okay, okay, yeah. You you're, uh, you're free, to, uh, free to leave if you want. Okay, toodles! <laughs> See you. 
<laughs> I like Ricardo. He's a good laugh. That dude was a maniac. He almost killed me. That's a truck horn. <laughs> Sorry, it's the little things in life that make me laugh too much. Right, anyway, it's my turn to go driving like a dick. Shoot around the county for a bit. Or we could go to the strip club. That could be interesting. After a traumatic event like that, I need some beer. As you know, Fred's not a beer guy, he's a gin guy. I can't even buy beer from here, can I? God damn it. Fuck. It's okay, there's a yellow jack around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Yoo yellow jack! Let's buy some gin. Please tell me they have gin. Ah, oh, they don't. Man. Ah. Oh. Gotta be tequila then. It's only at three. Let's be good. <laughs> no, not, not, not that. We don't want that. Right, I need to remember to use the inventory now. It's not that button. There it is. It's a tequila. Ooh, I like that. And one more. Yeah, tipsy but not hammered. That's the way I like it. Right, let's go down to the strip club because Mike starts in 10 and he's got some wicked abs. Okay, it's actually hard to drive like this. That's the wrong side of the road. Yeah, it genuinely is tough to drive like this. I think that's the thing I love most about roleplay. You can go on with no idea what to do. Ten minutes later, something crazy will happen. And you're like, oh, okay, let, let's do that. Oh, trying to keep it straight. <laughs> straight. That doesn't describe Fred very much. This is... I'm, <laughs> I'm actually having to concentrate just to drive straight. Probably going to have a crash if I keep doing this. Uh, okay, that was jank as hell. Go away with that, though. Phew, that was close. That's a cop. Driving normal. Just just driving to the, the strip club. Yeah, he didn't even flip on us. <laughs> Thank God for that. Right. Into the club. Fuck it, we can park it. The boys are here. Oh, it's literally dead. <laughs> oh, man. So, something interesting happened. As I um, walked in, <laughs> it froze for a bit and now Justin's name's on the side. And I don't know how to get rid of that. What if I... No, that just adds my name to the... <laughs> just ignore that on the side. Yeah, that's, that's mildly broken. But yeah, uh, Mike's not here. Oh, that's so sad. How could Mike not be here? And my car just broke. And my aircon just turned off. What the f... Um... Oh! <laughs> I was on a cone. <laughs> anyway. No, that's not a crash. That's, that's not good. We do need gas, though. Oh, I hit that sign. I'm sorry, sign. Trying to act drunk <laughs> is kind of hard. That'll do. No, I overshot. Yeah, let's just fill up with gas. This is dangerous. Oh, that was basically green. Uh, I forgot where I live. Uh, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna stop here and, and check. Where, where, where do I live? That's not what I wanted to click. I live... I don't know where I live. 9692 Portola Drive. That's over there somewhere. Okay, so the waypoint's set. I'm going home. Ugh. Oh. I'm so sorry. That was meant to do that. Uh, they, they, they didn't need them. They were just there for decoration. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, shit. Okay. That's fine. Uh, that'll do. Yeah. Oh my god. I got a headache. Okay, guys, being the perfectionist I am, I finally decided on a spot <laughs> right outside. He didn't even make it in the house, he just passed out drunk on the lawn. Because, let's be honest, everyone does at some point. <laughs> I hope my van hasn't despawned from me going inside. I can hear a helicopter. I'm pissed if they sent A1 A out for this. No, they haven't, unfortunately. But yeah. <laughs> Usually when I do drinking, I do a, like a chase or a crash or something. This is slightly different. I crashed, but I actually made it home. Let's see how the police respond. I'm going to play my innocence and be like, my van's been stolen. <laughs> see how that works out. Ah, uh, they're going to search me and find a marksman rifle as well. That's an issue. Okay, you know what? We need to get rid of this. Running drunk, as you do. Oh no, I returned sober. Oh, and that was a cop. Yeah, I'm just going to be passed out by here. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, no way, dude. I think that's the heel. I'm pretty sure that's the heel. The one who stopped me earlier. What I'm gonna do then, because I didn't make it clear which house I went into, I'm gonna pass out by here on the driveway. I'll do. Oh, and he's got his gun drawn on me. Asleep. <laughs> Show me your hands. Slash me. Um, stinks of tequila. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, Wait. can you hear me, man? Yeah, man. Hey, how you doing? Are you the stripper I ordered? I'm doing just fine, sir. How are you? Um. Uh, um, yeah. I got a headache. No injuries visible. Now you got a pistol on you, man. You can't be carrying that around. I'm on my property. You've been drinking, sir? Yeah, I had a You've party. You've been drinking? Are you the stripper? You're totally right. the stripper, hey. You, you crashed your car and then you tried to get into this into this property. What what's what's this address, sir? It's my house. I've been here all day. But what's the address on this house, sir? Um, Porto Drive. Six nine two. It's my lucky number. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, still alcohol and and. Uh, Weapons don't really mix well, and then we've got reports that you crashed your car over there, which you have, and then tried to, you know, I don't know, apparently you were trying to enter your house there or something. What? No. My car. My, my car's in the garage. Right, sure. Like, didn't I, you remember me, right? You, I pulled you over, right? You, you're not, you're not that, that drunk, are you? Um... Um... When, um, yeah, I'm sure I got pulled over. <laughs> yes, Mr. Daphne, you were pulled over by me because you were driving very erratically. Uh, Josh, stick with him. I'm gonna go grab my car. And oh, hey, yeah, that's fine. Are you the stripper? Not, nah, I'm sorry. God damn, I ordered him like hours ago. Yeah, maybe, maybe in a past life I was, but not this one. 
Oh, you still got the moves? <laughs> Oof. Anyway, what's that dude saying about my car? My car's totally in the garage. It's like literally up there. My keys are somewhere. Is it there? Could you see? Well, the car wasn't there. I saw your keys over there, though. Keys on the what looked to be the doorstep. Hey, so what's your name? I didn't see your car over there, though. Just your keys. Oh, my name's Fred. Fred, what, sir? Fred Daphne. Fred Daphne. Fred, you say your car's in the garage. You, you mind um, I was taking a look in that garage? Your friend did. You see, I think my car's right, been Spence stolen. Wants to move. <laughs> uh oh, now your car's been stolen. Well, he says it's not there. My head hurts. All right. See, we got now one call that uh, you, you stumbled out of your car after uh, hitting that pole over there, and then you ran in here. What? And then this no. is where I found you running around. And then suddenly you decided that uh, when I started approaching your gate, you suddenly decided that you were going to take a lie down and have a nap or something, you know? Or at least fake you were having a nap. Oh. I, I think my car's been stolen, man. Where is it? No, it hasn't, sir. No, it hasn't. Have you seen that stripper I ordered? I'm going to run his name real quick. Have you got any, like, Xanax or... Anything? Oh. Nope. I, I party I'm hard. Sorry. I'm not a farmer. Oh man. You wanna you wanna come clean with this, sir? You've been driving drunk today. Okay, so what happened? I I bought the car home. I took a taxi to the yellow the um sorry the vanilla unicorn. I saw Mike. He's got a fabulous butt. And then I came home and partied. I'm still looking for the stripper. I don't think he's turned up yet. Why am I in handcuffs? I've got handcuffs in the bedroom if you need more. Do you want a coffee or something? Alright, so currently you're, you're being detained because, uh, like I said, uh, someone's why do you jumping out of your car and running in here and uh, you, I can smell the alcohol on you um, and you, you told me you've been drinking. I don't believe you, your story for a second that you were in your in your house drinking, considering you didn't even know your cars are out there, and you're lying to me. Well, clearly my car's been stolen. I've, I, I'm not going to deny I was drinking, but drink driving, that's just silly. I don't think so. It is, sir, your but why would you do it? Across the street. That too, that too. Well, yeah, that is a bit odd. Perhaps they was pulling out the driveway or something. <laughs> that would be also unusual. Fancy ass like this, I'm sure you've got some cameras pointing out from your gate, haven't you? Oh no, I, I value my privacy. Yeah, I, I don't think your neighbours do though. I'm gonna go see if there's a witness or anyone nearby. I'll be right back. Can I have my gun back? Nope. No, I'm so glad I dropped the marksman rifle. <laughs> that could have been bad. Just a lamppost has been knocked over and mauled for an damage. Also, empty bottle of tequila in past your foot. Well, I'm not digging my way out of this. I'm, t I'm getting arrested. I j just accept it. Last time Fred Daphne got arrested, he committed suicide, so... This... Yeah, it's not good. It's the second coming. Basically, what I'm saying is Fred Daphne is practically Jesus. Need repairs? I do actually, but I can't text you right now. My phone's in my ass pocket and my hands are behind my back. Sorry. Oh my god, another cop. Is this one the stripper? Hey, are you a stripper? Nope, I'm still not the stripper, sir. I'm still the guy arresting you right now. Or detaining no. you for the time being, anyway. What's up, um. Do you normally keep our car in your car, sir? No, I usually have a baseball bat in the back seat, bro. I put that in the garage. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, must have been the guy who stole it. I put that there. Uh, what about uh, what did you have for alcohol? You said at home. Well, I had a bit of vodka. Then I had some tequila shots. Then some slammers. Right. Oh, flaming sambuca. That's my favorite. It's so hot. And topped okay. it off with a touch of whiskey. <laughs> right. I can't keep a straight face. And uh, how long ago was that? Oh. 
Oh man, you're asking, what time is it? It's currently 2.30, 2.45 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. Oh, and probably about, oh, I don't know, five, four, five hours ago. <laughs> How long ago, sorry, sir? About four or five hours, I'd say. Four or five hours, okay, okay. So, when we put you through some tests, um, you you know, you won't have any, t um, any alcohol in your system. Oh, it stays in your system forever. You should, I've got a banging headache, I told you that. Right. So you should know that. It like stays in your system for like 10,000 years or something. I got told that by my doctor. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, see, at that point you shouldn't be driving your car, should you now? But I haven't, I've told you this. So, my statement is... So you're driving is... your car not... Uh, oh, I pulled it over, what, two, three hours ago, maybe? Less, probably? I don't know, it must have been more than that. Either that or my perception of time is uh, way no, it took screwed. me a solid half hour just to get here, so... I was all the way over on the other side of the city. But I've been drinking forever. Mm. Do you want a Zambuca? There's some right. left. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, I could've, we could've made this really easy. We could've made it, give you a new, a, uh, misdemeanor offense for a yeah, DUI, like, and this would have been your first offense, and we would have, you know, just given you a certain release, and we would have been on our way, but uh, you're making this really difficult trying to get out of this. Uh, you've been witnessed by someone, um, you know, matching your description, I believe. We're, we're going to try and find that witness and uh, see if they can point a finger at you um, and say that you were the one who jumped out that car. And when we do, you're going to be going to jail, sir, so... Unfortunately well, for officer, you, that's, you know, it could have been a simple satin release, but right now you're looking at, you can have some jail time now. Oh, please. But I haven't done anything. I'm on private property. Doesn't mean, doesn't matter. You, you were, you were out in your car when, uh, when you were drink driving, so... Doesn't I mean, wasn't. doesn't matter, you run, you run onto the road. Well, that's not what the caller told us, so we're gonna try and find that caller. Do you go any Xanax? Nope. Hey, I'm gonna go look around for someone, some witnesses. Got any cocaine? Right. You must have taken some off someone today. Yeah, right, I did. And I put it in the evidence locker where it belonged. Oh, is that in your car? No, it's in the, uh, Fuck. it's in the police station. Mission just came through. The um, witness is not anywhere to be found, but, uh, did it give you an exact description of uh, Mr. Daphne over here getting out the car, so... At this time, sir, you are under arrest for driving under the influence. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. And the right to an attorney present during questioning. If you, can, if, if you cannot afford an attorney, one shall be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you stand right, sir? But a lot of people wear blue trousers and hoodies and black hair and look like me. And run, and run out of and run out of green cars and into their driveway. It must be mistaken identity. I've been here forever. We're not gonna argue this, sir. All right, hop on up. Like I said, it could have been an easy misdemeanor sign release. Uh, you'd have shown up in court, and uh, you know we would have dealt with it then. But uh, you decided to play games, sir. So you're now going to jail, all right? And you're gonna be sleeping it off in jail at the I very didn't least. Didn't do anything. And let's not forget about the possession of a firearm was drunk. But I'm on private property. That, that one might get you in more trouble, sir. This guy said I could have some cocaine no. when I went to the station for my headache. That's right. definitely not what I said. Yeah, it is. Don't lie to okay. him. Come on. Well, this is fucked. So the cocaine, is that still on the table? Literally. <laughs> is your seatbelt all right there, sir? Click. You good, Josh? <laughs> I mean, Maverick. Maverick. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. All right. Well, I'll get this guy booked up. Shame uh, you had to play the games. Uh, you wanna tow his car? Cause uh, that's outside. That's been involved in an accident, and then so it's got some front end damage. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to spot it. 
but it definitely did have some I'm kind of damage. Your table spot. I took um, out a lamp and I did notice a tequila <laughs> bottle in there too, the empty tequila bottle, which uh, I'm sure he's just drunk, which is what the tequila he was talking about to us. No mm, coincidence. Okay. All circumstances, you could get this thrown out. Of All court, right, well, let's be I'm going to tow out here for it, and uh, oh, I'll fun, wrap yes. up scene and I'll speak with the homeowners here. I am the oh, homeowner. It's, it's his home, actually. He does live here. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it came in as yeah. breaking and entering. Yeah, it came in as that, but uh, it is his <laughs> home. It is his registered address, but I mean, that doesn't matter when you DUI right out there and then run into your home. Right. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Prove All it. Alright, buddy. Stay safe. Thanks for coming up. Alright, buddy. You too. No worries. Let me know if you find anything in the car. Call me, you know? <laughs> with a new phone. Wish I had friends to call. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure we know how this is going to end. Quite a long time in jail, I feel. Or oh, bail. I'm going to pay bail. But anyway, um, yeah, this has been... Uh, interesting? Question mark? It's been a thing. Yeah, happy. <laughs> anyway... Check out my Discord if you want to keep up to date with me, and if I'll let you know if I'm not uploading or anything. And uh, also meet some new friends there. Why not? And um, I'm gonna go get booked now. Make sure you check out Matt's channel as Matt's channel, Matt's channel as well. That's in the description. And um, I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.